and welcome. This is going to be your reading for September 1st through September 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. We are in kind of the final quarter of this year. Holy moly. It's moving fast, but also very slow. So it really has been the year of change. And I'm just sending you all my love and hope that the challenges you've been going through are helping you to grow and expand and kind of break out of your comfort zone. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. Um, this is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. So the link below um, to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can definitely read about um, the benefits, read the testimonials, and you'll see I have a great 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful um, for you in some way. Uh, you'll also see the link. I do very limited few number of personal readings. If it says sold out, you'll just have to check back. I've been uh, really not pulled to doing a lot of those lately. So I have to just trust that. I really do the readings when I feel called to. So um, thank you for your patience and understanding with that. And I think that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for September 1st through the 15th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled. So let's just get into it. Okay, we have four that wanted to come out there for you. First card out I thought is the Ten of Wands here. So this card is about taking on too many burdens or feeling overwhelmed or not knowing how to ask for help in regards to a specific situation. So if you look at this character, they've kind of just buried themselves in work, buried themselves in something else to avoid having to deal with um, a situation, which in looking at this, if this person here would just put down these wands, carry them a different way, ask for help, um, it would look a lot different, right? So that can be a message for you. You know, Aries can be quite strong, kind of like the leader of the Zodiac, wanting to, you know, do things on your own. But I think a message here, you might be able to accomplish more by asking for help or by including others in what you're doing. You may already be getting whispers or nudges from the universe about this lesson because I do have the world card here for you as well. So the world card really brings an ending or a completion or a cycle coming into wholeness, um, karmic energy ending and cycling out, something like that. So. If this energy, this Ten of uh, Wands energy has been around you for a little while, this overwhelm, this burden, um, etc., I do feel like the universe is kind of moving, moving things forward for you. Or you're not going to be feeling that way anymore. Or maybe with the way the whole pandemic has been, this is something that you've been learning as well. And then those last two cards that jumped out, I've got Knight of Swords and Eight of Wands here. So the Knight of Swords can be quite fast moving energy in regards to communication with someone or with yourself or in regards to a situation. And I feel here, I'm noticing the speed on both of these cards, especially this Eight of Wands energy can be very fast moving. So I feel you're already getting a little bit of a nudge here that you can go a lot faster and a lot further with less of these burdens, whatever this is that you've been carrying. And I feel like you are lightening your load a little bit in order to move forward. <clears throat> um, I also feel the world and the Eight of Wands both can speak about traveling. So maybe you'll be taking a little trip or a short visit. Um, probably nothing too crazy right now just because of what's going on. But I do see some travel and some movement for you, like getting out of your um, comfort zone or into a different environment, even if it's just for a weekend. 
Okay, next up I've got the devil here. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn energy here. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I'm feeling like the devil here, typically it can speak to like a bad habit or a behavior, but I'm really, I'm feeling a person here. So there's somebody that you are drawn to in regards to communication here with the Page of Swords, bringing messages, insight, communication, text calls, emails, um, any form of communication, really. But with the devil here, maybe this is part of the habit that has kept you into, kept you kind of keeping burdens here, or you have some sort of an addiction or um, you're stuck on something with someone is also what I, I'm getting right here. But I feel like there's going to be some communication around that. I, I feel like the stuck energy is kind of, I can, I'm can i getting this visual of it kind of dissipating. And the, the next card out I've got is the Four of Wands. So there may be some movement here in regards to somebody that you've been in communication with. I do feel romantically or with the desire for romance. And there's going to be some talk here. Maybe about how things have been heavy or how there's been some burdens involved. And the, the cycle is kind of moving here. And I do see things moving towards more of a commitment or more stability with the Four of Wands. So Aries, this can be really exciting. You know, you've got three cards of wands out here. And those really speak about passion, desire, chemistry, you know, action, um, movement. So... If there has been things that are a little bit stuck and stagnant for you, I do feel they're going to be moving. And I think you are moving towards like a commitment, a relationship, a love of some sort. Okay, Aries, next up, Eight of Pentacles. This is really a card of foundation, building the foundation, working on the details, looking at the details, not missing any of the details. You know, with all these planets retrograde right now, I do feel the details are very much um, being shown to us right now in regards to all things here. So it's not too worried about the future, not too focused on the past, but just really here on the task at hand. And I think the task at hand for you has something to do with lightening your load or letting go of burdens that you've been carrying, getting clear in communication, which is really going to free you up into feeling lighter, like you want to celebrate, okay, with the Three of Cups here. This can be social gatherings, friendships, spending time with friends. Um, opening up that heart energy and coming together. It can also be a card of reconciliation. So maybe coming back together if there has been a little bit of disconnect because of these burdens. And the last card out I thought is the strength card, which I love that you're ending on this card because you're starting here, right? A little bit powerless, a little bit overwhelmed, and you're cleaning all of that up and you're ending here with the strength card which is really a card of inner strength, that inner power, that inner desire to have the boundaries, to communicate what's needed, and to hold strong and true to that for yourself. So this is a really powerful card here. Um, I've also got, okay, so we've got Capricorn out here, also Leo. What else am I feeling? Possibly an air sign, Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and also a lot of fire energy, so Leo, Sagittarius, um, or another Aries. But I just feel the biggest theme here is you're shifting out of something that's been overwhelming and too heavy to carry into lightness because you're opening up the communication in regards to that. I do feel it can have to do with a specific person, um, maybe a person that you have felt very attached to or connected to. But there is some sort of a strengthening happening here and a reconciliation or an energy of coming together to be together or to connect in a more uh, in a more of a emotional way. So actually I'm really liking this reading for you guys. Let me get you any last message here.
Yes, okay, I love it, Aries, new beginnings. That's exactly kind of what I'm feeling here. You're like closing out a chapter here with the world card um, and this devil energy. It's like you're getting complete on something that just hasn't been working for you. But I feel like either that same situation is shifting or you're just going to shift completely out of it and move on. But either way, it is a new beginning for you, a fresh start. The Page of Swords is in the center of your reading, which really does bring communication and newness and like a fresh angle, a fresh um, desire, um, not desire, fresh um, viewpoint, like way of looking at a situation. So I just see a new beginning here for you. It could be a new beginning with the same person or with a new person. But something is lightening up here for you. I really feel that strongly, which is always a good thing, right? Let me see if there's any last message for you here. Ooh, okay. Oh, this one came out in another reading. I don't remember what other reading. Maybe one of the air signs. But your spirit animal message, Aries, is puffin. Partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nour nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Oh my goodness. Ask for help, Aries. Teamwork will give you the best results. So this is really beautiful. I feel like this message here speaks about the communication that I was mentioning, you know, speaking up about something that you want or need, um, asking for help, knowing that when you do ask for help or you do communicate, you can break patterns, you can have more movement, more action is able to take place there than when we're just stuck up here in like the monotone, like the, the single dialogue with ourself, right? Get into um, dialogue outside, communicating with others, speaking about that. It's going to strengthen the partnerships that you have around you, whether those are romantic or friendship. Okay, Aries, I love that for you. So I hope this resonates for you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Again, thank you for the messages below the reading. I love reading your comments. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all around the world at this point. Uh, this is my full-time work for the last over two and a half years now. So the link below to my website has all the information. Whoops, sorry about that. All the information is there for you in regards to the distance energy therapy um, and healing. You can read about the benefits, my journey and getting here and definitely check out the testimonials page. And you'll see I have a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. All right, Aries, so I think that's it. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to September. I'll see you guys back here for the second half of the month readings. Take care.